Why sharks? There was this movie when I was eight years old in which this guy had sharks for friends. This is 1978 uh, in the wake of Jaws, which came out in 1974. And in this movie, although pretty gory and a little bit, you know, like obviously sharks biting people and all of that, this guy used his power to protect the sharks and used the sharks to punish the people that actually harmed sharks. And in, in, in this pretty cheesy movie, I'm pretty sure if I saw it now, but it was the concept that there was someone that it was willing to actually hurt other people uh, when they hurt sharks, when they hurt his friends. Not that I want to hurt people, uh, by all means. But it was uh, very much as a child, I was very impressed by this concept that someone will risk so much uh, to save an animal like that. And it came together with my mom and dad's education. Uh, being people of the ocean, my mom's family is a sailing family and all of that. They always taught me that there are no monsters in the sea, only the one we make in our heads. Mm -hmm. And so uh, once you realize that a shark is not a monster, but is actually an animal that has certain characteristics that can be studied and can be understood, then it becomes imperative to show these to everyone else. It's really interesting how people are very keen on wanting to save polar bears. By no means one of the gentlest animals on this planet, if you want to really consider. I mean, nature in itself is not kind. Nature is very much cutthroat, but at the same time is very uh, direct. And so for me, it was very important to um, do the same with sharks. Sharks are part of nature. They are animals. They're not monsters. They're not mindless killing machines. We need to take the time to learn about them, appreciate them, and understand that we need them more than we may like to admit. We need them on so many levels. I do full talks about why we need sharks, why sharks. So I'm the Lorax and I speak for the sharks. So just like within a sentence or two, why, why do you say we need sharks? have been on this planet for over 400 million years and they've been designed by nature to keep themselves very much in balance and in check. Unfortunately, their characteristics, their natural characteristics makes them very vulnerable to our presence. And it's one of those words that people, when people say, how do you describe sharks? I say vulnerable. Vulnerable, they're nature's masterpiece, they're top, but you can say what I want to me, they're vulnerable. Uh, we need sharks, the sharks are um, controllers of the, the food chain. So at the mesoteric level, as well as the apex level, uh, sharks are filling all the roads, short of herbivorous razors, that they are everywhere in the web. They contain health of, of their population. They do uh, interactions with other animals. They um, could eliminate, and, and there's a lot of studies that we're trying to read some papers on it as well. I just asked a friend of mine to send me more papers. It's very hard to determine the complete role of sharks into an ecosystem just because it's just so vast and so sharks are so different. Yeah. But you have this uh, stabilizing role, first of all. They also um, maintain a balance amongst other uh, predators. So if you eliminate something, then you don't know how that is going to go out of balance. And they also maintain the balance of, of the uh, ground consumer. So let's say you eliminate a shark and maintain herbivorous, you might find that then the herbivorous consumes everything that is out there and that causes a lateral collapse. Um, the paper that actually associate that to, I was just mentioning that somewhere else and I found this paper is really cool that associated to the wolves in a Yellowstone Park. 